Hi guys, I am back. This is the Pagan YouTube Challenge, week number four. Sorry about the lighting. I'm trying to keep a eye on my uploads. I'm trying to upload all the other ones I just did. And this one is week four, and it is your take on the Wheel of the Year. Um, and I haven't watched anybody else's videos on this, and maybe I should have. Because I'm not necessarily confused by the question. Um, sorry, my lighting really sucks right here. Is that better? Is that a little better? Is that better? At least you don't get any glares. Anyway, um, so I'm not really sure what my take is. I mean, I don't really... It's kind of a loaded question. Like, my take, like, what do I do with the wheel of the year like traditions or, or whatever I don't really know this question I'm still gonna do the video so it'll probably be really really short probably shorter than the last one I told you was gonna be really short but anyway I'm rambling I need to get to the point so my take of the wheel of the year is you know I guess you know I do feel like it's something that comes full circle Wheel of the Year. It's a circle. Oh yay, my video number two is up. Check it out. Um, but as far as each of the Sabbaths, or what I would consider holidays, just because that's how I grew up, these were holidays, even though I do know the difference, that Christmas did not come from Christ, it came from pagans. And actually, almost all the holidays did. So, um, you know, I have the traditional traditions of those holidays, you know, Halloween, dress up, um, trick-or-treating, you know, stuff like that, Maybon, you know, I love it, fall time is what I would consider it, um, I love it, I love everything about it, favorite time of the year, I do love Christmas, but I think I love fall and Halloween, which I believe, and I'm probably going to really screw this up. Samhain is what um, would be considered the Wheel of the Year Sabbath. Um, I love it. You know, it's a it's a fun time of the year. It's to be a little crazy and spooky, which I love. Um, sorry, I keep looking to make sure it's uploading because I had to... Yep, it did. Yay! Sorry. It basically, um, I just tried to upload it once, and it, um, kind of really sucked, because I had to redo it. Okay. Anyway, quit looking at my page. But, um, I guess my take would be the more traditional sense, if that's what the question is. I kind of really do feel like it's a loaded question. Um, that, I don't know, I mean, it's kind of stumping me, really. I have the normal traditions, Christmas, presents, um, you know, I do need to add a lot of, mo a, a little more pagan influences in the Sabbaths, I think, to help me connect and kind of give my kids a little something without pressuring them. Like, my daughter's interested in it. I think it's just something fun and different for her. Um, but me and my husband, as we are both different religions, even a long time ago, even when he did convert to being a pagan um, for the short time he was, we agreed a long time ago that our kids would have a choice. Um, and we'll teach them a little bit here and there when they're ready or when they have questions, those will be answered. Um, but I would really love to incorporate more things on my side into the holidays even if it's just for myself even if I'm the only one that is celebrating that particular part of it but that way I'm a little more connected and kind of can transition in between the traditional sense into my religion sense so I mean those are kind of my takes on it I guess um, it works as a wheel it really does because there's, you know, the ch time and changes of the seasons and it rotates. Um, so I don't know. 
I don't know. So hopefully this is answering the question without answering it with another question because I don't really know. Um, but I mean that's really all there is that I do. I don't, you know, in previous videos I've said over and over, you know, I'm not there in my path yet to really consider all these things quite yet. Um, I'm trying to get there and what I really want to do and you know this also will be affected by it. Um, trying to connect the holidays in a deeper meaning I guess for myself is just not there yet. Maybe by next year it will be. Um, so yeah I guess if that answers the question correctly that is my take on the wheel. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of stumped on this one. I probably really should have read or read, watched some videos. Now, while I do have my YouTube page up, I'm going to share with you a YouTuber, and in no sense does she know I'm doing this. Um, but let me find her. Here she is. Her name is Summer Stitch and Witch. It's a really cool name. And she did this challenge. I don't know how many videos she got up to, but she has a video on Matron Goddess. And her take and her journey is very interesting and very relatable to myself. Um, there are a few differences, but... It is definitely a good video. She's got it titled Matron Goddess Hashtag YouTube Just YT Pagan Challenge All in One. Um, if you go over there, tell her I sent you, so maybe she'll come look at me. Um, but that is another video that I'm really excited to be doing here soon. Let me see what's next. The next video is what does this time of year mean to you and that's going to be week five the matron video will be video eight so number eight is when i'll be doing my matron and um patron and whatever basically what i my goddess connection um but i think for those who are searching because i didn't watch the whole video i watched a good bit of it. I think it's like 18 minutes long. It doesn't say right here without me having to click her video. Um, but um, I don't even know what I'm saying. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. This is my fourth video. I don't know anymore. I probably should really go to bed because I'm going to have to get up soon. And my baby will probably be up soon ready to eat. So yeah, I'll probably just end this one here. I kind of want to do the next one because I can say so much. And when you get to these videos, if you go uh, YouTube search them, depending on when these people done them, if they done it on time, if they knew about this challenge, when it happened, um, their time of year will obviously be different. And if you do this video, if you haven't, and you have a YouTube, obviously you might have one if you're watching me, um, then you will also do this. So if you do this challenge, I think I said in the last video, please comment below. I would love to see your take on these challenges or these videos and your thoughts and stuff like that because I'm very interested in what other people think about different things. And also, I think this challenge would be awesome. You know, some of the wording might have to be changed, but if you're like Buddhist or, you know, other religions... Um, I think you could get away with doing something like this. You could even start a new challenge just for those religions that are closest to yours in the aspect that I don't think a religion challenge has come up like this because this is, I mean, I just found this out like a week ago. So it could be something interesting if maybe you're not pagan, whether you're Wiccan or um, I think what there's Druid. I don't really honestly know a lot about it, especially about other religions, so I couldn't tell you what they are, but it could be very interesting for you to do. 
So this video is getting long. I need to upload my third video and then plug the phone up to the computer and upload this one. So if you are enjoying these, let me know. Um, or if there's certain videos you want to see, let me know. I do plan to complete this whole challenge because, like I said, this is a guaranteed 52 videos. And it definitely would get you to kind of get to know me and my thoughts and stuff as well. Um, but if there's anything else you're interested in, um, just let me know. I'm pretty much up for anything. I do other things, crafts and stuff, such, and I would love to do cooking videos because I love to cook. Um, but who knows? But this is the Eclectic Witch, so you will see a lot, even if it's not pertaining to a witchy side of me. I will have other videos. I really want to do a makeup video um, for, if you haven't seen them, it's really, really cool. You could probably Google this too, but it's the astrology makeup looks for the different um, zodiac signs. I've seen a few separate um, looks for this and I think it's awesome. If you want to see that video, let me know. I may be very interested in doing it because I know I want to do the look. I just don't know if I want to record it. I am in a makeup group and they love it when people do live stuff or whatever. It's just... I'm okay back here, but I don't want to get all up and personal in the phone camera, and you're going to have to. My insecurities get the best of me sometimes, but I think it that's fine. Something I have to work on, and hopefully my path will let me get rid of some of those things. So hopefully you'll stick around and grow with me. So I will see you guys later. It is 1.15 a.m. And, yeah, I think I'm really going to do that video. Pretty, pretty sure. So, I'll see you guys here, technically, in the next few minutes. Bye!